Abu Jahal was a small man. Abu Lahab was a small man. Not in the physical sense. Just like those who are blind are not those who are physically blind, but they're people who have blind hearts. Those who are small people are not those who have small bodies. That's just the physical vessel. But they're people of no character. And people without character tend to overcompensate with all sorts of things. Clothes of vanity, you know, braying loud voices, and just utter obnoxiousness. Now you have all these scales in this life, and if you look at these scales, they try to weigh things that a typical scale can't. So you have the muscle versus fat density, or whatever it is that doesn't show up on a regular scale. But you know what a worldly scale can't weigh? It can't weigh your character. Only Allah's scales can do that. If you look at Abdullah Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the man is a giant in this deen. And that was true in his lifetime. And it's also true in his legacy. He's the first person to recite the Quran publicly. He's the one who the Prophet وسلم, said, if you want to hear the Quran fresh and beautiful, like the way it was revealed, then listen to the recitation of this man. And it was he who would bring the Prophet وسلم, himself to weep when he would recite to him. And if you open any book of hadith and you just see the name Abdullah without any last name, then you know it's talking about him because you know he's the greatest of them all. Now you compare this man Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu to Abu Jahl. Abu Jahl was huge in physical stature. He was likened to Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu in size. The difference is that Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu was guided and he would go on in life to sit at the feet of Ibn Mas'ud while Abu Jahl would actually meet his death under the feet of Ibn Mas'ud. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu was known to be much shorter physically than any of the companions. And when he went out reciting Surah Al-Rahman in public, which was the first time the Quran was read in public under very dangerous circumstances, he was almost killed. People stomped him and threw things at him. And the main culprit that was stomping him that day was none other than Abu Jahl, the Fir'aun of this Ummah. Now you fast forward and it's the Battle of Badr. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have it so poetically that Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu is climbing on top of this mountain of a tyrant, being Abu Jahl. After Abu Jahl has been struck and he's laying there, he looks up and he sees this man standing on his chest. And he can't believe that it's Ibn Mas'ud, the one he used to oppress. So he says, لَقَدْ ارْتَقَيْتَ مُرْتَقًا صَعْبًا يَا الْغَنَمْ you have climbed a difficult mountain, O tiny shepherd. But that was the victory of Allah. And the last thing that Abu Jahl saw in this life was Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu standing on top of him saying, victory belongs to Allah, victory belongs to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and victory belongs to the believers. Now the Sahaba also had to learn this lesson about what makes a person mighty. And one time the Prophet ﷺ was sitting with the companions and Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu was picking a siwak and the wind actually blew him into the tree and it exposed his legs and the companions laughed. Now the Prophet ﷺ could have merely just chastised them for their laughter. But he said, what are you laughing at? They said, Ya Rasulullah, his legs are so small. And the Prophet ﷺ said, those two legs, lahuma athqaru fil mizani yawm al qiyamati min uhud. Those two legs are bigger on the day of judgment, on the scale of good deeds, than Uhud. Can you imagine Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu showing up on the day of judgment and his legs are actually the size of Uhud in his Mizan? Because the Mizan doesn't just weigh what you say, it also weighs you. And so you have this hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that on the day of judgment, Allah brings forth this huge fat man on the day of judgment. And he's not worth in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the wing of a mosquito. The Prophet then recited, and we will give them no weight on the day of judgment. So where does that leave us? What do you weigh in Allah's sight? With your faith and with your character. The Prophet ﷺ said, مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَثْقَلُ فِي الْمِيزَانِ مِنْ حُسْنُ الْخُلُقِ Nothing on the Day of Judgment 
is going to be heavier on the scale than good character. And character is to your deeds what your sincerity is to your faith. It's the inner quality. It's who you really are in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu describing this moment where you were physically picked up and placed in the scale. He said, مَنْ كَانَ ظَاهِرُهُ أَرْجَحَ مِنْ بَاطِنِهِ خَفَّ مِيزَانُهُ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ وَمَنْ كَانَ بَاطِنُهُ أَرْجَحَ مِنْ ظَاهِرِهِ ثَقُلَ مِيزَانُهُ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Whoever is better on the outside than they are on the inside will have a light scale on the Day of Judgment. They're not going to weigh much. But whoever is even better on the inside than they are on the outside will have a heavy scale on that day. Remember how we said that the book records things that are otherwise intangible? Allah Azza wa Jalla says, سَنَكْتُبُ مَا قَدَّمُوا وَآثَارَهُمْ وَكُلَّ شَيْءٍ أَحْصَيْنَاهُ فِي إِمَامٍ مُبِينٍ We will record everything, the footsteps, the effects, everything they left behind is recorded with precision. In the same way, the scale of Allah weighs things that are otherwise unweighable, they're intangible. And that's mainly to His mercy and never out of cruelty. The Prophet ﷺ said, for example, whoever keeps a horse for the sake of Allah, imanan wa out of faith in Allah and believing in His promise. The Prophet ﷺ said, that horse, it's eating, it's drinking, it's defecating and urinating. All of that is going to be hasanat on your balance, on your scale, on the Day of Judgment. Because Allah Azza wa weighs all of that for His sake. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever goes out in the cause of Allah, ma asabahu min al-ghubar miskan yawm al-qiyamah. Whatever touches him of dust will come forth as musk on the Day of Judgment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala weighs it all. And here we see that your words have been weighed. And now you are being weighed. What now of the book of deeds that you brought with you to be weighed alongside you? فَأَمَّا مَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةٍ رَاضِيَةٍ